It's time for the 12th devlog video for Above the Fold, a newspaper simulation game in the making. And I'm using Game Maker Studio 2 as the engine, and that's what you're looking at here. Now, the game itself is currently broken, and I'll show that to you now. Uh, but I have made some progress since the last episode. In case you haven't seen that, I will put a link to that in this video. Uh, there's also a whole playlist of videos where you can go all the way back to the very first uh, video of me starting work on this game, where it looks a lot different from what you're looking at here. But So the game sort of works, but it doesn't really work at the moment. It crashes quite a bit. So you can start the game, and if you've seen the previous episodes, this looks familiar already. This also will look familiar, but this is also where the game um, will tend to crash. Uh, one thing that has changed here is, I'll not assign the story, when you mouse over the story you can actually see some stars now. I've uh, taken away what was the uh, important score before, which sort of gave you an indication of the value of a story, and reduced it to some stars to make it a little harder to uh, min-max your scores, uh, and to make it, you have to pay more attention to, to details such as uh, what genre it is, and whether or not it matches um, the reporter that you're working with, and so on. Hire a couple more reporters. So. And I've also discovered in my own playtests that uh, removing the score and changing it to stars, just making it easier to sort of get a quick overview of what's going on in the game has helped the actual uh, gameplay experience. I'm going to use a little debug trick to skip ahead to the next screen here. Um, so this is what it would look like if the day came to an end and I just had these two reporters and they each wrote a story. Um, what has changed here is also stars to indicate the overall um, score of the issue. You can also see now the political bias of your newspaper depending on how you put it together. Again, the higher up on the page it appears, the more th the story you put in there. Every story has its own set of values and um, the more those values will affect the total outcome of that issue depending on, of course, the data in the... It looks like we both have both the um, stories that we have here on the conservative side and the political bias is made up of a score from the story itself as well as the writer who wrote it. So now your actual uh, reporters that you hire also have a political bias. So that will p uh, play come into play when you're putting your newspaper together. So this in this issue we'll have a political bias that's conservative. And you can then see the next thing is the age groups which I have incorporated. And similarly the effect on the on the age groups um, is um, amplified depending on positioning on the page. And every story, depending on genre, like some genres uh, appeal to some age groups more than others, uh, with some random variation, of course. This will all come into play later on in the, in the game when um, balancing the age groups uh, will be more important as you try to appeal to certain advertisers or please the, the weird uh, owner of the newspaper which is a game mechanic that I haven't started working on yet. Alright so the timer ran out on this and the, game, and the newspaper went to print so that means that we're actually now on issue 2 and you get here the results of the uh, last issue so the one we were just making and, and as you can see here two new people became subscribers not surprising given the the total score of 18. I decided to still keep the score on this last screen here so you at the end of the day you get to see sort of what the result is of what all your work was and um, the game score itself is simply all of your issues that you have published added together as you can see this is the first issue so it's the same number. Uh, you can also see here how the slant, the political slant, uh, how the spread was, and it's 20% liberal, 80% conservative. So that's uh, quite on the conservative side. So if you had lots of like liberal leaning advertisers, they would be upset by this. Or if you had a, a lot of conservative subscribers, they'd be happy about this. Um, I haven't actually 
added that effect into the game yet, but that's the point of it. That's why it's there. Um, finally, you get to see how much of your content was produced by your actual writers, and then I have um, a list of random like items that... Uh, I actually got some help from Twitter to fill in this list of random items that is chosen, and, and in this case it says 7% of your content was written in-house, the rest was news telegrams, classifieds, and do-it-yourself tips. And those could also be like cooking recipes or horoscopes and stuff like that. So that's the basic gameplay so far, and that's a full day, a, a sort of a full cycle. You can start a new day and the game starts over. However, this is also where it breaks. So let's start by assigning a story here to Rosa Cooper, who's uh, is level zero. She's not a very experienced um, journalist. And then I'm going to go to the next writer in my line, and boom, there it goes. Crash. So I have some kind of crash happening here, some of the data being transported back and forth um, in between days there's some something goes wrong there and I'm still haven't figured it out I've been working on that for two days now and I did find a bunch of other bugs in the process that I have ironed out and I feel like I'm getting closer so there's there's hope still um, the data itself um, here's an example from a previous game that I already made look a little bit nicer because it just comes out as like one big block of text um, but this is what it looks like this will be encrypted in the final game but you can actually see here uh, this is the speed of the game, how much cash you have. Uh, the R list is a list of ID numbers, each ID number corresponding to a reporter. And then you have the corresponding reporter down here. And then the stats for that particular reporter, their interests, disinterests, um, political leanings, uh, when their anniversary is, uh, which is a different mechanic that helps to level up your uh, reporters. Um, their happiness, which affects their the score of every story they write, so it's important to keep your reporters happy, and that is already implemented and works in the game. Uh, a color code, just uh, for debug, because the, um, the little meeple guys on the game, they all have a randomized color, and that's that code there. Here's the political description, uh, the skill level, which of course ties into the writing of stories, and here is this, the stats for the story that this reporter is currently working on. The salary for the reporter, special personality traits, there's nothing in this list currently, but uh, and this list also, these traits are not implemented yet, probably be one of the last things that I add to the game. Uh, the ID again is repeated down here, uh, just so there are different ways for me to access it, and finally the gender, which is also just for which sprite is chosen, the name for cosmetic purposes, and the experience, which ties in with the skill level up here to help produce a final score for every story. So those are the stats for every reporter so far. Uh, and you also get to see the stats for every story so far. What I have yet what I have yet to do is I have yet to create stats for subscribers and stats for advertisers and quests and all of that stuff. And it will go into the save game data, which this is the a, a text version of. The data is there and it's organized and um, it is passed back and forth, but some of it is either mislabeled or something along the way. I gotta figure out what's going on there. Um, anyway, that was the 12th devlog. If you enjoyed this one, um, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, uh, maybe share it with your peers and friends. And I want to thank you for following the progress of uh, Above the Fold, which is what this game of course will be called when it's finally done thanks again for watching and tune in next time mm -hmm.